guys, this is Token, another Minecraft video. You heard it, and today, this is episode 38 of m 77s new Minecraft World Tour. Guys, 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 last time I failed like a clown. What the hell was I thinking? I mean, I've been farming uh, XP like a madman and it's totally stupid. If you watch Mr. Pixel Tech's video, and yeah, the footage was a bit older, you have to keep in mind. When I reached 120, then I took a break for a day and then Mr. Pixel Tech released this video and then I learned a lot. So it absolutely makes no sense to level up to 120, 200 and whatnot. Best thing to do is level up to 50, enchant your stuff and do it again. Because yeah, I realized this as well, you know, the higher you get with your XP, um, the slower it went. So, but it was hard for me to really judge because I was always going off on and off screen, you know, letting it fill up, hacking away, talking to my girlfriend, doing all, all sorts of other stuff, wasn't really focused. You should never do that. Now I learned that. Next thing. There was a little flaw in the enchanting room, but we will have a look at that. And guys, you might ask yourself, what is that? Well, um, overnight uh, the X morning wood grew another <laughs> something on there. And this thing is my answer and my preparation for dragons. <laughs> Part of them. You know, I'm trying to... Um, get some good vantage points where I can yeah, aim my bow at them. I believe if my research was, was kind of correct, they can took, take 15 fully charged bow shots. Could be wrong about that. It felt like kind of, I think it is like that. At least it was in normal difficulty mode. So, yeah, so fighting them with a bow in case they attack, I'm talking about um, the, the other dragons, not the end dragons now. I might need some good vantage points to shoot. And we will take a look at that thing and there's something, something funny to it. Stupid thing is the plan didn't work out 100% you can't see it from here, but there's a funny little gadget. I'll show you. So first thing guys Look over there Haha, -ha. I redid the farm and as you can see right here There is some sandstone in there and I took your advice guys I was pretty stupid because if water drops down from on top um, it destroys everything so I have been losing crop here and this staircase is not really needed here this row of blocks but I made it so it looks symmetrical and now we got like um, 16 um, yeah wheat on each cell here it's four by four now and that basically means um, one stack left one stack right right so and we can like half um, harvest half a stack so that's kind of cool so the number is even better now and I'd say we quickly go over there oh Arnold some of you guys complained we don't interact much with him lately. That's about true. I would just want to keep him alive because I need him soonish when we go out exploring. Hey, bro. Yeah, the ladder here is gone. And I also need to do some work here on the floor. As you can see, there's some snow. Basically, I didn't have um, sandstone on me, so I just used snow for that. I will replace it later. I just wanted to finish it. And yeah, guys. There's a new area here, and yeah, new elevator. Thanks to Seth Bling, this is one of his elevator designs. I will put a link uh, to a tutorial in the video description. Um, I like yeah, elevators and you know, it might not even be super practical. As you can see, it's not like bringing me up really far, but who cares, it is cool. Yeah, and I have this walkway here with the light and two buttons and a little chest nothing in there yet and yeah push the button to activate it and then um, the thing starts it's basically a conveyor belt elevator pretty cool you can go up and down in it if I want to stop it I have to press this button um, I was thinking a lot should I um, hook it up to a timer do I need buttons on top what do I need and I don't need nothing and I want to show you why okay start the thing 
you basically just walk in and you go up so on top here I wanted to keep it slim you know I don't have any buttons and stuff on top here um, yeah it's running you can hear it it's annoying but what do I do up here well I breed and now I didn't bring no wheat with me because um, some of you also said I didn't show the motherboard, the motherboard working uh, 100%. Um, well, <coughs> let's cycle through it once so you can see. I don't have no wheat with me. I, we could harvest some, by the way. Okay. Bringing the cows up and then we'll harvest some. And you can hear it. I'm too far away. I don't even hear the piston elevator. It might create a little bit of lag, but... Well, I don't feel it, I don't hear it, so I don't even need switches to turn it off when I work off he up here. You know, it's, yeah, you have to go for practical solutions. Ah, cool. Ah. In case you wonder, where did my XP go? Well, I had my latest rage quit. Um, was down doing some caving at the outer corner there. And I fell into lava. And I lost like everything. N thank God I didn't take my silk touch stuff with me. Then I would have like crazy rage quitted. I just like stopped to play for a while. Well, happens. Didn't find my XP. I'm at 11. Um, my level is 11 now. So yeah. <laughs> Starting all over, but as I learned now that leveling up to level 50 is not that hard with the XP farm. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the wheat farm. You can see it, the 4x4 four four areas, and now no wheat is destroyed because the water falls down and then uh, moves along. So no problem. I don't need any of this now. I got some here. More than enough. It looks cool. That's one thing to it. So, yeah. Breeding cows. I basically just stand here, give them some wheat, and it works. Bloop, baby cow drops. Send them away. And they're in. And I could do that again. Call some cows and breed. You know, you only have to do that from time to time. You know, I got some of the <laughs> of them still down in the in the farm, in the ex mushroom farm, so to speak. I can go there from time to time, slaughter some. I come up here from time to time. You know, that's what you do. It's funny. You don't have to use the full cycle all the time. Just come up here from time to time and breed some. That's what I do. Also, yeah, you can see it here with the trees. Took um, some advice as well. You gave me in the comments, thought it looks kind of weird. And you were right, using stairs is way better. I wish I remember who commented that, guys, but it's really hard by now. So yeah, this is this and that and this. So, taking shape up here. I need to work on the outside, guys, but it's so much sandstone I will need. And that's another reason why I came up with that thing up on top here. Mm. Actually, I just wanted to build up there and scout a bit if I can uh, see a, a desert somewhere close. And yeah, and then I thought, hey, it would be cool to have a watchtower. So yeah, the elevator is still running. If you want to get down, you just get in there. You can even like go up and down, you know, you can go to the sides. Pretty cool. When I'm done, just switch switch it off. Here we go. Down there, you know, we got a, the starting, the control setup for the elevator, just as says Blink showed. And then beneath here somewhere, there's a RS knowledge that con um, is controlled with those two buttons. Try to hide it a bit, everything, so it looks kind of cool. It's not symmetrical, but that doesn't matter. As I told you before, you know, breaking the symmetry will make your buildings more interesting. And yeah, that's the tower. And on top of it, I basically plan... Aha! Uh -huh. I wondered why that was lying around on the ground before. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> yeah. Um, on top, I plan to have another tower and put my yeah signature on top, the fire. 
<laughs> so yeah, this is Seth Blink's elevator. I like it a lot. Very cool design. Awesome. So I'd say, yeah, oh yeah, the pyramid of life, I changed it a bit as well. We know in pre-5, um, the pigs are, yeah, it's not able anymore to, we are not able anymore to get the uh, spawners. So yeah, guys, um, I will stay with my, uh, yeah, stay with my solution. I found now the pig lighting. I got it here. It's cool, you know, to have some some life in the pyramid of life again, but I will not exploit that stuff too much. That is the cooked pork chop I got left. I got some down there in my chests, I believe, and I want to get rid of that now. From now on, we're on a cow and veggie diet. Um, talking about pre-5, um, not gonna use that for the world tour. There's some problems with the water and yeah, it basically forms sauce blocks. Jeb already tweeted about that and he will, yeah, basically re revert the water to what it is in pre-4 now. So I'm not touching that thing. Also slime invasion. Not sure if I really like that. Okay, so let me go through the chests. That some guy requested that. Nothing. Here is the redstone chest. And I basically started to panic because I only got one large chest left and that's why I went <coughs> to do some more caving in the left corner back there where I died and lost a lot of redstone which really annoyed me. Um, yeah, down there there is some, some stuff to work with, redstone, there's nothing left. It was all redstone here, it was completely full. Here, some of the loot. I still got from the XP farming, this is my sign chest, got some, there should be more down here, yeah, that one, uh, yeah. random stuff, that's often when I come back um, from building or change my the equipment and I just throw it in random chests. Here are my goody drawers, I know that for a fact, yeah, made more Eye of the Enders already. 38, because yeah, I was going to the nether, g getting some more glowstone. Here's my iron pickaxe, the sword, iron, yeah, that's the other axe. Some stuff, ah, here's the pork chop, that's good. That's all I have left. What's in here, yeah, this is the collection of ender pearls, TNT. Stuff, a single torch, <laughs> also not bad. What is there? Ah, yeah, my nether goodie drawer and some other goodies. Here are some diamonds and some shears. Why did I only... I don't know. Glowstone. This is some of the stuff I got from the nether now. I didn't use the silk touch thing. Kind of... <laughs> I don't know. I rarely use it. You can see it. It has barely no damage. That's also because of the unbreaking effect, you know that, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a holy thing. I'm kind of refusing to use it. Yeah, so there you go. This is some stuff I have in here. What is that doing? I need to... Man, man. So messy. That is the thing when I always come back and then I play a bit. Then I start something else. I wonder what else I find. In here, yeah, there's the wool draw. I know that. I wish, you know, guys, when friendly mob spawning still worked, I would have not been so lazy and collected all the wool. I let it li lay there and despawn and whatnot. Now, kind of, okay, that's some wool, but for a big building project, that's nothing. So yeah, big mistake. Here is some kind of, uh, yeah, seeds and things I can plant and stuff. Some more wood I have left. Dark wood that's uh, still there right right from the beginning when we started the world tour. Um, what do we have here? That's nothing more. Nothing. That's the iron chest, completely full still. There's more here, so iron not a problem at the moment. There was more. This was full as well. Here I got some smooth stone, you know, melted down. Some glass still. That's a whole lot. Don't need that many glass blocks. This is the gold. Yeah. Not that much, but I have some more um, like gold ingots. Coal, this is coal as well. And here we got 
nothing and yeah oh pickaxe sweet I need to end science man it's messy oh sandstone that's good yeah and diamonds alright so guys here this is the sand area and we are running low this and this is basically left no more sand there might be some as you just saw in some other chests but yeah sand no sand machines don't comment that it's just I don't have nothing against the design it's just a personal feeling it's for me it's kind of cheating because you kind of really spawn in stuff you know it's not like yeah know what I mean so I don't want to use that I like the design it's ingenious don't get me wrong I say it again but the principle behind it not really liking it okay yeah that's the cobble and dirt area got quite some stuff left yeah so that was the chest tour some guys requested it sorry for your others if that was boring for you or something you know but as you saw I'm still pretty well stacked with like important materials and now let's go over to the morning wood I'm on peaceful right now because the area on top of the morning wood is not completely lit and prepared so I don't want to run into any nasty surprises when we are here in the morning wood we for sure need to check out um, the enchanting room I fixed it guys I know what the problem was by now so look the problem is not that two um, bookshelves were missing here we only need 30 and if you count this these are 30 now there was an issue here we had another a bookshelf but it was blocked by the pressure plate I use to set the yeah, area to level 2 enchantment well what I did I just replaced this bookshelf here with a workbench and did put it up here now I can get the low level enchantments you know still and when I want to get up to level 50 now I complete the circuit and we got 30 bookshelves around me and nothing is blocked you know look working so well as I died I don't have enough XP to enchant the next item um, guys by the way uh, epic names I saw in the comments a lot of you guys were uh, commenting Neptune and you know um, like some kind of aqua related stuff water related stuff and I'm really digging it keep it up keep on suggesting good names for our epic helmet you know we have a look at it one more time <laughs> that took a lot of effort but it was teaching me a lot so maybe yeah maybe we should include learning or teaching or scholarship uh, or something in the name <laughs> yeah now I know no more leveling up over 50 and some guys commented and told me dude I got level 50 gear and was crap only protection 4 on it and stuff yeah I know you know that that could happen it's just um, Oh, I forgot to destroy the pork job. We will do that. Um, it was just to prove a point, you know, to make the thing super epic, everything level 50. I knew kind of that it would not bring the best items. But yeah. So yeah, guys, this is the new area I made on top here. This is my watchtower. It's not the sleeping quarters. And I finally decided to use pumpkins for lighting. And if I hide them with trapdoors and put them in there so they face backwards um, you know I don't see that stupid face um, yeah I can live with it I know it is Halloween today or is it the 31st of um, October guys we don't celebrate that big time over here in Germany so no Halloween special um, I'm pretty sure everybody like is doing something about that so no no normal world tour nothing special yeah you can see it right here. I've been using the same technique um, 
I used to make this the whole tree here basically having my dirt ring planting up and when I had that shaping it a bit it was hollow anyways and then I made this walkway up here you can get in and this is the inside of the tree there you can see the base shape like so and you can get up and we got a first level here and we got a huge balcony with a huge overview you can see far and have a huge radius and why do I have that? well when the dragons come I will stand here and own them I will get 15 shots in and get them away from the perimeter here this is one part of my dragon preparations and also it's fun to stand up here in the night you know and do some shooting um, versus some some mobs. I need to train guys. You saw how, how much I suck with my bow all the time. And when we do the next race for wool I need to be prepared. And we got a next level. This is the next you know vantage point. And I don't know if you can see it there in the back guys but they, those are cacti all the way back there. Cacti. And sand. Yeah. Awesome. So soonish we will make a trip over there, explore a little bit and like get us some sandstone going. Hardcore. I might even try to have a like a direct hmm, track connection, you know, we still don't have no cool um minecart station below. So might be go for a tunnel, you know, and then have like a desert station, a quarry, desert quarry know where we can get tons of sandstone to do some more builds because I need more I need more for the motherboard that's for sure the stuff I got left that won't help it yeah so this is the area up here I can fight in the 360 view here ah yeah now you can see it did you from here you can see it well I can fight in a 360 view from up here and if that is not enough there's another thing on top here and that is really cool Oh, let's let's get in. So here we go. <laughs> this is my turret. Now I can sit on top here and fight even more. And we need to be ah dang, I missed it. It's a you're able to get out on top here. Let me try again. Yeah. Ha ha! And what do we see? <laughs> Fire! No, the morning wood will board, burn down. No, it will not. <laughs> yeah, this minecart here is on fire and I used it uh, for a little trick. I wanted to have the fire um, yeah, on top of my buildings as I have for most of them or all of them basically around here in the perimeter. Exception is the zipper tower by now or so far. So yeah, I'm on skybox here, you know. I can't go any higher. And then I used the trick to set a minecart on fire and then put it in here so I have a fire signal on top here as well. Well the plan didn't really like go 100% well the only place you can really nicely see the fire is from up here and maybe from some spots down below. Thing is as the minecart is an entity you know it will only you will only see it from a certain distance and if you're too far away you sadly can't see the fire. So that sucked a bit you know I was hoping to have a really cool effect like having a huge fire right on top of the morning wood and everybody would be freaking out and that would be my Halloween surprise. No! Morning wood on fire or something like that. As I said we're not really good with the Halloween stuff. Why is there a half slab here? Yeah, You have to remove that one. And there why is that? Ah, yeah. Ouch, didn't finish it. So, yeah. Um, and this is the thing. I have some footage. It's kind of difficult to get up here, but it's okay. I have some footage how I got that thing in here and how I did set it on fire. So, check that out, and I'll be back after this little instructional sequence in the world tour. Okay guys, we are on top of the morning wood and this is basically the top of the map. Those blocks here, this is skybox, we can't go any higher. If I try to place blocks on here it doesn't work. But that's perfectly fine um, for the watchtower I have up here. 
Um, last thing that is missing, like on top of most of my buildings, you can see the flame. And I want to do that here as well. And we can't do it the, the normal way, you know. I don't want to risk burning down the morning wood, so I refer to that little trick here, using a burning minecart to do it. And let me quickly sneak by here. This is the way you can do it. You know, there's a ditch here where the lava um, is in, and then you just put it in that cube on top of you, make sure yeah, to let it flow down. And if you push a minecart through, it will catch on fire. But make sure not to go too slow. If you go too slow, it can break and even disintegrate if you're unlucky and it uh, drops into the lava. So let's see if I can show you the breaking. Whoop, did you see? I have to <laughs> grab it quickly so it doesn't burn or something. So if you want to make it happen, that's what I found out. I pushed it, I jumped into it and then I went through it and it didn't burn and when I hopped out it started to burn but it also works if you push it rather quickly. You know, there you see it, the minecart caught on fire, you can't extinguish it even with water. So now what I want to do, um, I need to build this track up here, a bit uphill, I hope I have enough tracks still, if not I will, yeah. Alright, and I will try to push the minecart here uphill onto the track. Uh, I could put another one down. Uh -huh. I hope it doesn't fall. Okay. So now I have to kind of push that burning thing up there. Come on. I don't want it to fall back. Yeah, okay. Now the hard job is done. Let's shove it in there. And bam! <laughs> Sweet. This fire is not dangerous, you know, for the for the morning wood. It not, it will not catch on fire. It will just stay as it is, burning forever. It will not never be extinguished. <laughs> and you can even sit in it if you want to, in the fire. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is the burning minecart setup. And there you can see it again, how the lava is placed. Now, uh, I've got some sweaty hands at the moment. <laughs> was a bit nervous you know, when I put out the lava. I, but I made sure, you know, w if it dropped, it would have, uh, yeah, went down into the water and not, like, set the morning wood on fire. So this is done. And now I'm going to remove my platform here and then... Yeah, I want to have a look um, if it looks cool, but I guess so. Fire in the tree. <laughs> you know, for my sleeping quarters, I'm thinking about having one of these too, you know, for a nice fireplace. But okay, time to tear down the rest of the stuff. Yeah, and that's how the minecart went in there. Later on, I changed the setup a bit. Well, what I did, I removed uh, this and this log and then shoved the minecart over a bit. And then was removing the block below and putting the ladder there and then pushing it back. And that's why it's a bit crooked now. Um, the half slabs were, be I believe, a remainder of some tries I had with the roof. Yeah, and also had an encasing here for the thing when I changed it. So yeah, that is how that is done. Whoop, where do I get up here? So, <laughs> pretty funny thing. A little bit sad. I wished, you know, it would have worked so you can really see the fire from all over the place. But I really like this new area here. It's also, you know, the tree thing because it's, it's peaceful, you know. It's kind of cool when you stand up here, look down on the perimeter, see the desert over there. You can see it really good in the night. We should have a look. It's really cool. I'm happy that one is close. I was hoping, you know, I don't trust it 100% still. With all the updates, still kind of afraid you new know, terra terrain generation and stuff might occur. And I don't want to go through such an MC editing ordeal again, you know, getting the new terrain. So yeah, back there you can see it clearly there's the desert. So that's safe. And I'm really hoping, you know, we 
yeah, don't go through massive changes in the future again. Just talking about a code freeze. Now, like introducing new stuff is called bug fixing. I don't know. Oh yeah, nice pumpkin harvest here. Would be a waste now. <laughs> That's one thing they fixed in in pre five. So yeah, pumpkins drop. Uh, pumpkins, melons drop normal now in pre five, and um, we should get rid of this stuff here. The pork chops and I'm just simply gonna dig a hole here and gonna put the lava whoops I can't do that here oh well no problem I'll fix that later don't have no wood I need a nice spot where can I put it hmm maybe over there no there's some redstone I guess here should be safe I'll just put the lava in there yeah that should be good and then um, we're gonna burn the the pork chop. I want to get rid of that. So yeah, guys, I think that's it for today. I hope you liked this episode. I did a lot again. We made a lot of progress. Um, and happy Halloween. <laughs>